join me in welcoming Dennis Kepin from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. Thank you, Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you very much for coming by to, uh, to listen to my presentation. Uh, myself, uh, my background, I'm an industrial designer, and uh, I teach industrial design at Humber College, so this is kind of like a huge segue for me to get into the field of uh, PhD because uh, I'm now currently doing my PhD at uh, Ontario University of Ontario Institute of, Institute of Technology under the supervision of Dr. Leonard Mackey. And uh, so if you are uh, keen, you can use my Twitter handle, tweet underscore ideation, just to tweet something, information uh, as we go along. That is an image of me before I joined the PhD program. So you can see I'm losing hair, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so from that perspective, there's some percentage of, uh, of baldness increasing, you know, so it's good. Uh, but uh, from the perspective of my talk today, I mean, this is a basic uh, overview of uh, the discussion here uh, in terms of like uh, the structure of the presentation. And uh, what we found from the, uh, from the basic study was that the basic study was to compare uh, gamified task management applications versus standard task management applications. So we found that the key message here was that the extrinsic reward system that was built into the gamified task management application essentially helped or motivated some of the players to actually engage in the, in the gamified task management application. We also found that uh, the usefulness, when I say usefulness in brackets, the usefulness of the, of the gamified app was also related to the visual stimuli in terms of like showcasing accomplishments or, uh, or achievements in terms of uh, rewarding some of these, uh, some of these uh, milestones achievements in a, in a specific uh, task management application. We also found that the usefulness depended also on the possibility of integration of uh, the gamified task management application with an existing task, uh, existing uh, software and things like that, okay? We also found that, you know, lack of social integration elements in some of these new gamified task management applications also proved to be a hindrance to some of these people, some of the users or players engaging and actually using these task management applications on a, on a regular basis, so sort of gamified task management applications. Resistance to change was also because most of these users felt comfortable with their existing uh, uh, task management applications. So they decided that, hey, even though you, you have done the study and taken part in the study, we are going to continue with remaining with our existing task management applications. So how did, I mean, this is probably, you know, an example of me right there, you know, in terms of like, I forgot to remember, in terms of like the fact that, you know, we're all in a time crunch, we're trying to remember so many things, we're trying to do so many things at one time. and. Uh, the activity, uh, I'm being very precise over here, the activity of actually inputting the tasks into a task management application or a gamified task management application is really a mundane and a boring task, okay? The standard task management applications, you know, and there's tons and tons of those available in the marketplace today, so which one do we select? So we were kind of like interested in, you know, in our initial study, in our basic initial simple study, we were interested in finding out you know, what is the basic usefulness of some of these gamified task management applications vis-a-vis -vis the existing ones that are non-gamified? And uh, does it really help to improve the efficiency of uh, managing tasks as opposed to doing our tasks? Because uh, we know that, you know, uh, this has been the case with me in the sense that, you know, I've kind of like sometimes even often forgotten to pick up my kids from the, uh, from the, from the activity center. Been in the doghouse be because of that, unfortunately, the most critical aspect of being in that was not in the doghouse, but being uh, looking at my then six-year-old, you know, discerning eyes and, and wondering, and when she's wondering, I said, "How could you do this to me?" You know, and that's that was more critical than being in, uh, you know, uh, uh, in a situation with my spouse, which is always the case, right? As usual when you're married, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's a given. Um, so, with task management, task management as an activity itself, it's quite a boring, uh, a boring task you know, in terms of like inputting information. So how can we do this? And that's why at the, uh, at the uh, UIG Gamer Lab, you know, we decided to conduct a simple initial study where we looked at comparing these, uh, you know, these two gamified task management applications. Some of you may already be, be using some of these uh, on your iPhones. The, uh, the Epic Win is used on uh, the iPhone, whereas the Task Hammer is an Android application. And we decided to compare that against uh, Microsoft Outlook and uh, even um, uh, other elements of, uh, say, for example, Google Calendar and see how it compared with those things. 
So how do we do this? Like uh, we used, uh, well, this was our basic structure of our study where uh, we used the two methods. We used the quantitative measures and we used quantitative measures. In terms of the quantitative measures, we used the uh, use questionnaire, uh, which essentially has got dimensions on use, usefulness, satisfaction, and ease of learning and ease of use. That was our, that is a basic question that was given to us uh, that we used. And uh, we also then extended that, uh, the use questionnaire into having more dimensions in terms of like intrinsic motivation, extrinsic motivation, uh, motivation, and also looking at uh, comparison between uh, how uh, some of these questions, uh, some of the participants would relate to between, uh, answering between uh, the standard task management applications and current ta gamified task management applications. Our interviews, we conducted detailed interviews with respect to uh, these, the participants. And we had dimensions on frustrations of using the app, reward system, levels of achievement, importance of game elements, and also uh, the engagement aspects of some of these specific applications. And uh, so from there, uh, what we had is, from our findings was that we found that uh, the task hammer was, from the, from, the, uh, from the questionnaire set, was easy to learn as opposed to the epic win. When we compare conventional and gamified applications, uh, conventional task management applications was actually preferred over gamified ones because of their speed and efficiency in terms of because of, and also the fact that uh, the participants perception of task managers usefulness was also related to how motivated the participants were in actually in terms of like using the app or finding the, that usefulness uh, construct in, our, in, in some of these, uh, these ideas. So participants who also felt uh, good about the app's reward system were also more motivated to, uh, to use, uh, to use the, the specific uh, in the study. They were also excited about the visual stimuli. That means that you know, they, were, they were happy about the accomplishments that they, were, they felt in terms of like being rewarded, in terms of uh, some, uh, recognizing some of their achievements. And uh, when we look at uh, some of our limitations, we presume that obviously that uh, because some of these participants were using existing sta uh, standardized task management applications, we presume that they were proficient in using that. But however, a control group could have probably helped uh, in, uh, in using this or doing this uh, as a better comparison. We had 14 participants, and that was probably a smaller limitation. And uh, we asked participants to play the gamified app for only four days, uh, which is also another limitation that we found in the study. Prolonged use of, of the app could actually uh, help us to have understood a greater assimilation of how gamification does help in this specific, uh, in this specific uh, area. Future work, we plan to conduct uh, also, uh, we plan to also continue with extending our use, question, use questionnaire, the extended use questionnaire to kind of like add more questions into the extrinsic and intrinsic motivation aspects of our, of our, of our idea. And uh, in concluding, you know, what we find is that uh, from our qualitative and quantitative uh, surveys, we found that there was a big contradiction between our qualitative uh, interviews. We found the qualitative interviews told us that you know, just the presence of more points, badges, and reward systems would not excite someone to actually engage in a gamified task management application. However, there was a surprising, there was positive correlation between extrinsic motivation and satisfaction dimensions of, our, of the questionnaire, indicating that people who are influenced by rewards and, uh, and other elements of extrinsic motivation actually wanted to play the game further. So that is a kind of a contradiction between the two. We also found that there was significant positive correlation between uh, intrinsic motivation and usefulness. So that means even though I know that it is, I've got no choice but to do my own chores in a day or take part in my task, I have actually perhaps greater motivation in inputting my tasks into my task manager if I find that there is some usefulness in me engaging in that specific task management application. So, we believe that in our, in our point of view from our, from our simple uh, basic study, we find that uh, you know, motivational user experience design is very, very critical. So from that perspective, we feel that uh, you know, just because of adding leader, leaderboards or, or gamified uh, uh, reward points to any of these uh, business applications or non-game elements does not actually add to gamification. All we have to understand is that presence of game elements and design elements is a means. However, you know, what is going to make a business application success is essentially what we call as motivational user experience design. So that means defining, like going back to what Amy, Amy uh, Joe mentioned, uh, even today morning and yesterday also, understanding the motivational aspects behind, behind 
what drives a user or a player in understanding what the motivational aspects of a design can be in that specific game, and then taking that further through onboarding uh, habit, uh, habit learning and further on to mastery level. Thank you very much.